Hello, this is Bear, checking you in. Switch your phone cam on. Ah, there, there we go. We see what you see. You made it all right. I hope the van didn't give you much trouble. Looks like the signal isn't great. The feed is quite laggy. New case, obviously. I haven't been to the location yet. But I believe J Jen has set up some cams and the laptop. Jen, can you, can you confirm? Hi. Y yes, all set up. I did not linger. For, for a small nothing kind of house, it sure packs a punch. Good vibes, bad vibes? All of the above. I wish you good luck. And you're, you're not wrong about the connection. And my mind is laggy too. Yeah, like a badly dubbed movie. But hey, hey ho. Okay, let's get you started. You can look around with the mouse. Pick up the post behind the front door. Looks like a few utility bills. Red pit road? <laughs> Sounds cheery. Ah, looks like you're in London's East End. Hey, did you say Dread Pit Road? Yeah, London's East End. Cool, I'll check it out, see what I can find. Right, let's get you started on the baseline test. Use the right click on your mouse to open your inventory. Select the EMF meter on the row of gadgets. It's the tool on the far left. Right click or select EMF to switch off inventory and then take a reading from the light switch on the wall next to you. That's a level three. Yeah, pretty standard for household electricals. It's unexplainable or moving EMF spikes we're after. Okay, you're all set. The next best thing is to find the laptop. You need to enter any findings or evidence into the system. Jen? Any ideas on the location of the Dread Pit laptop? Yeah, I set it up in the kitchen. Straight through the ground floor, out the back. on certain rooms of the house. You also enter your findings and evidence here. Click the tab to the left of the screen. Good. Here's a full plan of the house. You can add any phenomena you encounter to the map. For example, EMF 5 on the stairs or a walker on one of the floors. You may want to check out the types of phenomena. It's our way of categorizing ghosts. Walkers make unexplainable footsteps. Pushers are known to shove ghost hunters. Scrawlers leave marks on the walls. Clickers flip switches and alarms. You get the picture. The more you identify and the room that they haunt will help a lot with your investigation tonight. Ain't that right, Bear? Yeah, and you'll be alone tonight. No help from us. Sorry to say, we've got our own cases. I can check in now and then. Stay safe.
guessing the realtor may have done a viewing with clients. The what? The realtor? Um, estate agents selling the place? Oxton's? I thought we had the place to ourselves. Nope, it's for sale. But why lock the door? I'll get on to them. See what's up. Ah, so stick to the lower floors, for now. Toucher. Weird, huh? Do they just feel about in our world? Right, you got a scrawler too. I can check those markings and drawings, see what they mean. 
Whatever spirit is causing that phenomena is key to solving this case. Bear, I haven't got long. I'm on a job, but watch out tonight. There's 